in the animal kingdom, a big animal eats little animal, usually, and so on up the food chain. Which means if you're a little animal with a lot of predators, life can be kind of tough. So what if there was a way to use a big animal to protect a little animal? Well, that's an interesting idea, huh? Marimba dogs and the Eastern Barred Bandicoot may seem like unlikely companions, but in a new pilot program, their relationship could help save this bandicoot species from extinction. Meet Albus, the first marimba dog to be trained as a bandicoot bodyguard. Hi, I'm Rachel, and today I'm gonna to tell you all about this world first guardian dog trial program. But first, a bit of background about the bandicoots. The eastern barred bandicoot used to thrive in Victoria's woodlands, grasslands and the basalt plains. But 99.9% .9 of their habitat has been lost and introduced foxes and feral cats have pretty much destroyed their population. These cute little critters are now listed as extinct in the wild. The good news though is that bandicoots are very adaptable, which is one of the many reasons why the team here at Zoo Victoria are heavily investing in research and captive breeding to give these guys a helping hand. Over the past 10 years, we have successfully bred over 650 bandicoots in captivity. With some of these bandicoots being released back into protected feral proof areas such as Hamilton, Mount Rothwell and Woodlands Historic Park. We now strongly believe it's time to return these bandicoots back to the wild. And that's where Albus comes in. The new Guardian Dog program will trial whether bandicoots, protected by specially trained marimba dogs, will be able to establish populations and survive in areas that are not enclosed by feral proof fences. Our aim is to train these specially bred dogs to protect eastern barred bandicoots once we release them back in the wild. Maruma dogs are a livestock breed native to Italy with a keen protective instinct. These dogs have been protecting livestock around the world for more than 2,000 years. They are specially bonded to the group of animals they've been trained to protect. And in this case, it's the Eastern Barred Bandicoot. We're hoping these dogs will act a bit like a virtual fence, chasing away foxes and cats to help protect these beautiful little bandicoots. Sit. Oh, you're a good boy. But first, there's two years of intensive training. It's a step-by-step -step process, starting with the dogs getting familiar with bandicoot bedding and their smells. <laughs> oh, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh, you're a good boy. Not oh, only do the dogs need are. to be well and truly bonded with the animals they need to guard, but they also need to be trained to stay away from other native animals. They need to learn that animals like kangaroos are friends, not enemies. If successful, the trial could result in the creation of our very own Fighting Extinction Dog Squad. We're hoping that for the first time in Australia, we'll be able to take an animal that's listed as extinct in the wild, return it back to its home and take it off that list. But for now, there's a bit more training to be done. Right, Elvis? <laughs>